Hi guys, and welcome back to another Sonic Academy video tutorial. In this one, we're going to be using Cubase 5 um, to create a Electro House tune. And I'm going to try my best to use all of the built-in uh, synthesizers and uh, drum machines, etc. that come with Cubase. And one of the, the main benefits of Cubase 5 this year is its uh, integration of a, a drum machine, which is called uh, the uh, Groove Agent. Um, all of the previous editions of Cubase didn't have this functionality built in and you had to use um, external uh, software for, for example, like uh, Native Instruments Battery 3 was one that, that I would use quite a lot for Cubase. Um, but this year we've got it built in and we can use that. So I'm just going to show you the ins and outs of Cubase here first. We just go up to File and New Project once it's opened up and we're going to click on the Empty button. Click OK and we're going to create a new folder somewhere. So I'm going to create this one just on the desktop and I'll call it Cubius Electro House. And in this folder, it's going to save all of the project files, it's going to save audio files, anything else that you've brought in, it, it will be saved in this folder so you can actually export it to somewhere else. So we're just going to click Open. And you'll be greeted with the Cubase 5 uh, project um, screen. And we've got the arrangement window here. And then the left, we've got our inspector, which will show you um, information on your audio files and um, your audio tracks and your MIDI tracks. Um, the first thing we're going to do, though, is bring in the actual samples that you've downloaded alongside this course. Um, to do that, we've got to use something in Cubase, which is called it, uh, the Cubase Pool. And in there, it actually stores all of the files and shows you how many times you've used it in the project. Um, so to open it, we're going to go to Command and P on a Mac and Control and P on a PC. Or to get to it from the menus, you just go to the top and we've got this project header. And we've got our pool down here. So three folders, audio, video and trash. Um, pretty self-explanatory. So we're going to click on the audio folder and we're going to click on import. And we're going to browse to the sample pack that you downloaded alongside this. Mine's on the desktop. And we're going to go to drums. And we're just going to drag over all of the audio files in the drums folder. Going to click on open and then we're going to get our import options. Um, here we want to make sure that the copy files to working directories is ticked. Um, this will copy everything that we import into this uh, folder that we created initially, the, the Cubase Electro folder. And it means if you want to bring this um, project to a studio or to a friend's computer or if you're even changing computers, um, all of your samples will be located in one folder, which means you won't have to go searching for samples, like if you've used a sample pack and you've maybe lost that sample pack um, along the way, uh, all of the samples will still be there because they'll be copied into this folder. So be sure that's ticked. You can tell it not to ask again. I'm just going to leave that unticked for now. And then they're dropped in. And we're going to right click and create a folder for these. I'm going to call it drums. going to highlight across them. Drop them in and drop them in. And then I'm going to go to import back to our sample pack. Going to import our effects now. And um, if you're getting that sort of dragging problem I'm getting there, you can just shift and click on the top one, hold down shift and click on the bottom one. That will highlight all of them. Again, copy them in. I'm going to create a folder for those. FX, drop them in, and then that last folder was, let's create the folder first, it was Vogels, and uh, if we click on Vogels, import, go to our Vogels folder, and drop them in, okay, so that's all we need imported. You can see here it's out of guess at the tempo. It's not going to get it correct because it's working on uh, the basis of how long the actual file is. And these are all one shots. 
so they don't have a tempo. Um, this one, however, is an actual loop, and it's got that tempo correct at one two six. So it's actually pretty accurate. If you've got using Rex files, it will get them spot on. So we can go ahead and close this pull window, and then we'll continue on with uh, bringing in our Groove Agent in the next tutorial.